In this video, we will discuss about structure of a typical vertebra. Okay, a vertebra that shows all the common features of a vertebra is called a typical vertebra. A typical vertebra has three main parts: body, arch, and processes. We will discuss one by one. So this part of the vertebra is the body actually. Okay, and uh, this part. This part is called arch or neural arch. Okay, and this part, this part, and this part, they are called different types of processes. Okay, we will discuss one by one. First, body of the vertebra, shaped like a solid rod-like structure. So you can see. So this is the body of the vertebra. Okay, this is the body of the vertebra. It is a solid rod-like cylindrical structure. Anterior or cranial end is convex. So you can see. So this part is the anterior or cranial end. It is convex. Okay. And this part is the concave actually. The posterior end. We'll discuss. You can see. So this is the posterior end or caudal end of the body. This total is the body of the vertebra. Okay. This is the anterior or cranial end is the convex. But this is the caudal or posterior end which is your concave. Dorsal surface of the body. Flat forms floor of the neural canal or vertebral canal. Okay, you can see. So this is the dorsal. Uh, so this is the dorsal surface of the body of the vertebra. It is flat actually. This one. So this is the body of the vertebra. Okay, this is the body of the vertebra. This is the dorsal surface. Okay, it is flat. It forms floor of the neural canal or vertebral canal. You can see. So this canal is the neural canal. Or vertebral canal through which the spinal cord will pass. Ventral surface, okay, means this is the ventral surface, okay. Presents a less developed ventral spinous process or the attachment of muscles and ligaments. So you can see so this one. So this this structure is your ventral spine, okay. Ventral spinous process or ventral spine. It is less developed. It is for the attachment of muscles and ligaments. Then neural arch. Present on the dorsal aspect of the body. Okay, means this one. So this is the body on the dorsal side. So this part is the actually neural arch. Okay. So this part is actually neural arch. The total is the neural arch. If you see the one half. Okay. So this part is the pedicel actually. This is the one half of the neural arch, and this is one half of the neural arch. So if you see the one half. So this one is called pedicel, and this one is called the lamina actually. The lamina of the both the side they join and they form the roof of the neural canal. Okay, pedicels have anterior and posterior notches called vertebral notches. You can see. So these are the notches actually. Okay, so this one, so this is the anterior or cranial notch. This is the posterior or the caudal notch. So these are the vertebral. Notches, vertebral notches of the adjacent vertebrae, or intervertebral foramina, or the passage of the blood vessels and spinal nerves. You can see this one. So this one is the intervertebral foramen. You see, this is the notch of the one vertebra. This is the notch of the another vertebra. So both the notches they join together and they form the foramen that is called intervertebral foramen. It is for your what passage of the blood vessels and the spinal nerves. The neural arch with the body forms bony ring called as vertebral foramen or vertebral rings or neural rings. You see, so this is the body of the vertebra, okay, and this is the neural arch. So here you will find a ring-like structure, okay. So this is called actually vertebral foramen or vertebral ring or neural ring. Series of Vertebral foramen together form vertebral canal or spinal canal or neural canal, which lodges spinal cord. You see, so these are the rings-like structure, the vertebral rings. So a series of such rings join together and they form a long canal-like structure. Okay, that is called neural canal or spinal canal for the passage of what actually spinal cord. You can see so this whole canal. Okay, this whole canal is called actually neural canal. Okay, spinal canal. In this canal, what happened? Spinal cord will pass. So let me show you this one. 
spinal cord. So now you can see in this canal, the spinal cord will pass. So this is the spinal cord. Processes of vertebra. You will find various processes around the body of the vertebra. Articular or oblique process you will find. Transverse process we will discuss one by one. Spinous process or neural or superior spine. Ventral spinous process. Mammillary process. Accessory process. First, Articular or oblique processes you will find. Uh, these are four in number. Two present on the cranial side. Two caudal side. So now you can see. So these two are the oblique cranial process. And these two are the caudal. So articular or oblique processes four in number. Two are present cranially. So these two are the cranial articular process. These two. And these two are the caudal articular process. Uh, we are looking the actually here the dorsal view of a typical vertebra. In the process, we will find articular surfaces or articular facets for attachment. The cranial one face upward. Okay. So, these two are the uh, cranial articular processes. Okay. They face somewhat upward. And the caudal, they face somewhat downward actually. So, these two are the caudal articular processes and these two are the cranial articular processes. These processes have what? Articular surfaces or facets for articulation. Here you can see cranial process of one vertebra. So you can see, suppose this is one vertebra, okay, and this is the cranial process of one vertebra. Overlap and articulate with the caudal processes of the vertebra in front. So here another vertebra is there. So uh, in front of this vertebra, this vertebra is present. So the cranial one of this vertebra articulates with the caudal of this vertebra, okay. And together they form a kind of synovial joint. Okay. So this one again. This is the cranial process of one vertebra, caudal process of another vertebra, and together they form a synovial joint. Transverse processes, you can see these two are the transverse processes. Okay. Uh, these are two in number, one on each side, arise from the lateral aspect of the body or lower part of the arch. Okay, you can see this is the transverse process. Uh, they vary in size and shape regionally. Then spinous process or spine. Okay, you can see this one. So this is the spinous process or spine actually. A single projecting from the middle of the dorsal part of the nodal arch. Okay. So great variation in the size, form and direction among the vertebra. Then ventral spinous process. So this one is the ventral spinous process. Single present on the ventral aspect of the body of the vertebra. It is less developed for the attachment of muscles and ligaments. Then in some vertebrae, not all, you will find mammillary processes. Okay. Present between the transverse and cranial articular process, you see. This is the uh, cranial articular process and this is the transverse. In between them, in some vertebrae, not all, you will find mammillary process. We will discuss. For example, caudal thoracic and cranial lumbar vertebrae have mammillary process. Then accessory processes. It is also not found in all vertebrae. In some vertebrae, you will find. Present between the transverse and the caudal articular processes. Okay. So these are the your transverse process and these are the caudal articular process. In between them, you may find the accessory process. For example, you will find in the lumbar vertebral of the dog. 